Hi, my name is Tom and in this video we are going to beat Glath. If you want to skip to the fight directly, just uh, expand the description of the video and you can find a timestamp link. So his hero ability decimate changes the health of all my minions to one. That's a bit shit. But he is kind of, kind of nice with us because he plays a lot of zombie chows. I think he has um, at least six in the deck, rather 10 actually. And you see that this guy restores five health to my hero. That's pretty freaking awesome. Besides that, he has also a lot of unstable ghouls, one, three. Um, not so funny when your guys have one health. Um, Really not funny, but uh, we will find ways to uh, deal with this. So because you got so much healing, I think Warlock is simply the best because he does a lot of damage um, to himself, especially with uh, cards uh, like your uh, Flame Imp. I actually can pick it directly. It's like the best card of, of the whole deck. It's three damage for one mana. It's pretty good, pretty good. And the damage we get is is uh, healed by the zombie chose. Then we have uh, the hero ability. No problem. We can use it. Uh, and he will play a zombie show and uh, gives us two and a half cards for free, basically. Besides the mana cost. So pretty cool, pretty cool. Alright, so he has, uh, Glath has a big, big bad as a weapon, so uh, we want to have double ooze, definitely, and if you have pick Harrison Jones too, you could think of this uh, guy that reduces one durability of the weapon, mm, but it's, it's just the salt in the soup, uh, it's not the soup itself, <laughs> you know what I mean, you need the good stuff, imp, uh, I said ooze, Bam, and the weapon is gone, and not like, uh, you want, want your ability, uh, yay, now I'm safe. No, 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 no. Only the good stuff. Good. Now, um, I like the concept of silence. Owl, Spellbreaker, Wailing Soul, pick everything. Um, the reason for that is, especially Wailing Soul, pretty cool. I mean, um, imagine we have Harrison Jones, he is a 5-1, and then you silence Harrison Jones, he becomes a 5-4, you attack, uh, kill like a, I don't know, a 3-4 minion. Uh, Harrison Jones goes down to one life and uh, he survives. Otherwise, if you attack with any of your minions, they will die because all of your minions will have one health. And as you silence them, they survive. Also pretty good against the unstable ghouls. Um, because if he plays this card and you have like a full board with one health minions, you are a bit fucked. So you can silence this guy and have only to sacrifice one instead of all. That's kind of good. All right. Um, besides the concept of silence, Divine Shield is awesome. Uh, why is that? This is pretty obvious. I mean, uh, uh, Divine Shield doesn't get like destroyed. So Scarlet Crusader can do twice three damage before she dies or she can take one of those... Uh, uh, AOEs, and that's pretty good. Um, Silver Moon. Um, I mean, it's a three damage for four. That is a bit questionable, I would say. Argent Squire is doing one damage, also a bit questionable. It can do two damage, but I also have two ones for one mana, so I'm not sure if I really need this Divine Shield right there. Um, I think Silver Moon, you could pick it, but you don't have to. Anyway, if you play Paladin, definitely pick the 2-2 two -two that gives guys Divine Shield. That's pretty awesome. Okay, I'll leave him for now and go through uh, the Warlock cards. So, Soulfire... Um, Kind of good. I think it's a card you have to pick. Power Overwhelming, plus 4-4. Four, four. It's like 4 damage for 1 mana. It's kind of good. Flame Imp, super good. Demon of Fire is 2 damage for 2. It's kind of crappy. And uh, uh, buffing minions is not so smart. Uh, because the health gets reduced anyway. Uh, Succubus is 4 damage for 2. And I have a problem with this guy. Because in turn 2, 4 damage are too much. We only need 3 damage in turn 2. Usually, he has, though, one or two cards where four damage come good, but, um, I, yeah, I, I think uh, Succubus is, like, 
kind of shit because you discard the card and you would anyway only need three damage. So I'd rather take a 3-2 as my two drop. You can pick him if you want though here. Four damage or two damage for whatever how much mana. No. Hellfire is pretty good because um, sometimes he fills the board relatively quickly with unstable ghouls and zombie shows. And if you hellfire this, um, it's pretty good for you. Okay. Yo, and that's basically it. Doomguard is interesting. I think I pick him just once. Um, I can do 5 damage directly, then he gets reduced to 1 life, and then I can do another 5 damage uh, next turn. So kind of okay, because it's 10 damage for 5 mana. Uh, but usu usually the enemy chooses uh, a cheap, cheap minion to kill the 5-1, and that's kind of shitty. Okay, now we can fill the deck up with good cards, like here we have Abusive Sergeant, 4 damage for 1 mana, pretty damn good. Then here also in some way 4 damage for 2 mana, but mm, not the biggest fan of this card, however, let's pick it, but we may kick it out. Um, a bit of heal is never wrong, so let's pick him, and uh, we have a lot, a lot, 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 lot of two dro uh, one drops already. And uh, maybe a bit too much, so let's kick Leper Gnome already out. Now what comes really good is some kind of tank, and we already have shitload of Dispel, <coughs> Owl, and so on. So, um, kind of have to pick the Ancient Watcher together uh, with uh, the, <coughs> the other dude there. <laughs> oh god, where is he? The Sun Fury Protector, there we go. Um, sometimes just saves you, sometimes it doesn't. You have other good cards like Dancing Swords with all the mass Dispel on your side you have. Um, definitely not bad. Arcane Golem for damage. Um, pretty okay. Then, um, not really good, but okay. Egg definitely dies with him. At some point he has so much AoE spell minion thingies that uh, dies later or earlier. So quite mana efficient, actually. You can pick it. And, yo, so can I somehow get the Dancing Swords in? And I also would like to get... Um, you can actually pick Magma Rager, pretty good. Um, I would like to get a 2-drop with 3 damage, I don't have this yet. It's a bit sad we don't have enough space in the hand. But uh, what do you want to do? Um, have I said it? Um, Argus would also be pretty good, and also... Molten Giant would be pretty, pretty damn good, because he... No, 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 not Molten Giant, I'm sorry, sorry. That was the last boss, <laughs> I think, or the next, uh, not even sure. Okay, actually both, I think, but not this boss, because you heal yourself quite a lot. All right, so I think, yeah, we just leave the deck as it is for now, <coughs> and uh, see how it goes. Maybe we do uh, one or two uh, changes, and... Uh, that's it. So, let's start. So, some elements work against each other, like Divine Shield and self dispel but... Uh, ah, let's see how it goes. It's kind of funny. Um, the reason I built this deck from uh, the scratch is uh, it is all the time a bit different, and uh, every time it works somehow. So, the boss is really not that hard. And kind of piece of cake. All right. <clears throat> I like the idea of keeping Hellfire and just Hellfire in turn four and then punch out my stuff, uh, play my stuff. Um, but the problem is we definitely need a noose because this weapon is the main problem. And if we don't get a noose, we can basically restart. I <clears throat> So tanking him is not that good because it kills only one minion. But we got the flame him, that's so far so good. If he plays the weapon, uh, we have one more chance to draw the ooze. <coughs> ah, he coins a unstable ghoul probably. Yeah, most likely. He kind of only has those two cards more or less. Okay, interesting, he kills the 3-1. He doesn't do that really often. 
Ah, Doctor, every, everything pointless. Let's uh, just play the Watcher. <coughs> yeah, the egg. Um, I would say it's worth a try. Let's play it and uh, let's also play the Voodoo Doctor. And let's make sure we can taunt those two guys, then we get some kind of use. <coughs> okay. So he will die by the explosion <coughs> that I will force. And we got Spellbreaker. Yay! So now you can see this guy goes up to 5 life. And is now not getting killed as I attack. And uh, all my minions are alive. He is a 4 1, but that's no problem. He anyway would be a 4 1. <coughs> Necronite is like his strongest creature. And I like the idea of not killing him. Because uh, the effect is that adjacent minions get destroyed as well. So I let him play an additional minion as long. Yeah, I would like to taunt him. But actually I don't care what he attacks. Another silence. Okay. Okay, let's just wait, let's wait, let's wait. I'm actually really lucky he is not playing the weapon because I don't have an uh, ooze. Okay. Okay, complete silence. Um, yeah, I would say we silence him and just kill the Necro Knight. And then everything is fine. Although we could also kill him and it would kill this guy. It's almost at a point where I say, let's let him play one, two, three more minions. Um, but if he attacks with him, all my minions are dead. And actually, I could save two of them, and two is quite a lot, so. <clears throat> yeah, let's do it. Let's silence that guy and get rid of him there, respectively. Let's get rid of both. Draw another card, yeah. I think we can play the Doctor here, then we have two damage, four damage guys, and uh, can sum this up as we need it. Best is three damage because he has so many three damage and uh, creatures here, five damage. Needed. Okay, Zombie Joe. Funny effect. Okay. Um, power Overwhelming is pretty funny together with that self dispel. Because your creature will not die. And I think it's more or less what we do. Drop the combo. So we power over Velm the Owl. We kick this guy's ass. Now we... Um, let's go draw a card here. Right now. Okay. Uh, we self dispel so everybody has a ton of life, everybody can attack. So let's do that. We get five health, full life, and we can attack here. And in the end, everybody will be down to one life. That's okay. He does not have AoEs. So you don't have to worry about this. He only has the unstable ghoul and abomination. All right, so he has played his weapon, and yeah, you see, it's a three-five weapon with uh, with a badass effect. So it quickly gets buffed, and we just draw Drew Harrison Jones. So it's a pretty obvious turn. I could silence him 
attack, you would be alive and sacrifice the owl or so. Um, but that's too much. That's too much because um, um, he's pretty much my last silence then. And if he plays another uh, abomination or something, I'm fucked. So I would say we just sacrifice one dude, we power overwhelm here, maybe this guy. And goodbye. Now we could taunt it up a bit just to be safe. Sometimes he has pretty badass uh, stuff. Like uh, your hero deals 6 damage or he has also bite 4 damage. Makes quickly 10 damage you would get onto the face if you don't have taunts. Here is bite. So that way we can avoid uh, this unnecessary damage. Now we still have a taunt, so no need to kill the Necronite yet. Uh, we can let him play another minion. Let's just get some stuff out. We have here maybe this guy. I think we can make use of him to kill the Necromancer. Um, actually, have we lethal? Yes, we have lethal. So let's uh, don't make this longer as it needs to be. So I kind of finished him with uh, 30 health. 30 health. Uh, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, obviously, or not obviously, but of course, it's not working this well all the time. So don't be too optimistic. If I if he played the weapon, I would be totally fucked because I didn't have the ooze. And here again, <laughs> no ooze yet. So let's change everything. Okay, ooze. Oof. Okay, heal is a bit wasted, so let's wait. I mean, he anyway can't kill those guys. And you see what actually usually happens is turn one weapon. Well, not usually, but about 60-70% he plays the weapon, turn one. So, um, you want to kill the weapon ASAP, because it's shit. Who's also kills here the 1-3? It's pretty cool. Or kills the zombie chose. Why not? Pretty good. Okay, Hellfire is pretty good. Um, if he plays one, two, three more shows, hopefully he does. We have a complete board clear. We have full life, more or less. We have a 4-4 four, four out. A uh, 4-1, respectively. He plays Rage here. Pretty, pretty fuck that card. Yeah, I would say we Hellfire... Yo. Yo. So it's definitely a good idea to have Harrison Jones. Doomguard is pretty useless. I discard too many cards. And he has no minions that could kill with it, but let's see what happens. Job done. The taunt is pretty good because um, you have seen in rage 6 damage, you have seen bite 4 damage, a total of 10. Um, and together with, I don't know, weapon or so. Pretty quickly, pretty crappy. So let's turn it up, um, maybe over there. Although I'm thinking of simply killing this guy the old-fashioned way. Yeah, let me do this like that here. And I mean, we should be safe for now. I would like to play this Crusader. 
pretty good card. Pretty good card against him. It's definitely a 6 damage, unless he AoEs. But uh, 6 damage for 3 is pretty good. There it is, but even if he doubles it, it's okay. Okay. My placement is a bit bullshit, isn't it? Um, <clears throat> I have the problem that the silence would kill the divine shield, otherwise I could do the power overwhelming combo again. But maybe we just use this to finish and uh, for now we simply silence that guy so we can attack with him. We can save the Divine Shield right there. And um, we could play a taunt, we could play a card. Um, uh, draw a card, I'm sorry. I think we have enough cards, so let's taunt here somewhat. There's another bite, but it should be a clear win, so. Not a big deal. How much? 3, 5, plus 8 is 13, 17, uh, I think not yet enough, 17, 22, I think I can do 22, so right? 8, 10, 13, um, 17, 22. That's it. Aww. Anyway, um, we kind of won, so... <laughs> Let's do some fun here. Maybe so far, okay. Yeah. Whatsoever. Still one damage low, though. Four and two is six. He has seven left. Cool. So you see the deck works relatively well. Um, I guess it's clear you lose when you don't draw the Ooze or Harrison Jones at the right moment. And as I've said it, um, Harrison Jones is not really necessary. You can also uh, do an, what you uh, do with him with an Ooze, with the second Ooze and so on. So it's definitely good if you have him, but there's no need for him. And yep. so... Uh, the win rate is not like a 100%. This was uh, pretty lucky also. So maybe you reach around 50% or something like that. So here's the deck again. And let's name it. And hope you enjoyed watching. Goodbye.